Hello friends, today let's solve the remove all agents to duplicates in string 2. Given a string as a k duplicate removal consists of choosing k agent and their equal letters from S and removing them causing the left and the right side of the deleted substring to concatenate together. And we repeated make k duplicate removals on S until we no longer can. So let's see this example. We first find these three E's. So we delete this triple E. And then we find the triple C. So we delete this triple C. But we haven't finished because as we deleted this triple C, now this double B is agent to, to this B. So we have triple B together and now we can delete them. The same idea as we deleted this triple E, this double D um, is agent. And now we have this D. So this triple D uh, is agent, uh, agent. So we delete them. So finally, we just left this double A. So how to solve this problem? It is obvious that we should iterate from left to right. So at least the time complexity will be big O N because we need to handle every character. And the difficulty is that we repeatedly delete the characters. That means when we delete this triple E, when we operate this D, we need to uh, find out whether the left on its left there is the same character or not. So that means we need a data structure to track the characters, but not only the characters, like uh, we are at uh, here. We are at B. So we know after we deleting this triple C, we know uh, there is B on its left. But we should quickly know that there is double B on its left. So now we have triple B. That means we need to record the frequency of each character. So um, O in O, we need to uh record the character and its frequency as there is no pair data structure in java so we can write our own class uh, that means we will use uh, our own class means node to um to record the character and its frequency so how to solve this problem? That means we iterate from left to right, and the ch means the current char. And when it's equal to, to its preceding char, and we get its repeated times. If the preceding char, when it's equal to the current char, and their repeated times equal to the k, we remove that uh, char. Otherwise, we update the frequency. So that means we need to use a linear data structure. Actually, we can use either stack or list because we only handle the end of this data structure. So both uh, stack and list work. Um, OK, let's see this, this example. At the first, we record the D and its frequency is 1 and uh, the stack go button, then we get E and its frequency is 1. And then we get another E. So we update the frequency of E to 2. Then we get another E. Now uh, 2 plus 1 equal to the K. So we can pop this E. So now currently there is only D and its frequency 1 in the stack. So that means we remove this triple E and we handle this D. We update the frequency and D equal to two. 
and uh, then we handle this double B, so B2, and so on and so forth. And uh, then we handle this double C, so C, and its frequency equal to 2. Now we handle another C, uh, as 2 plus 1 equal to 3, so we pop this C. Now the, in the stack we have D2, B2. Now we get another B. So that means we can pop this B now. So D equal to uh, D repeated twice. Now we handle this D. So that means we can pop this D. And finally, we get this A and its repeat time equal to 2. So we just uh, generate our final result. So you should notice that the order matters in this question because we only handle the agency, agent characters. Okay, now let's write the code. First, we get the length of this string. And if the length less than the K, we cannot remove any characters. We just return this S. Then we need a stack and we use the the type equal to node stack in array stack. Now let's write this node. We use the char and it's repeated times. And then we write a simple contractor. We pass this char. So ch equal to c and the times. When we add the new node, we know it's repeated times equal to 1. Okay. Now we also need, uh, okay, then, uh, then we just uh, iterate this string to char array. So if this stack is empty or is not equal to the preceding char, so stack pick, that will be char. If not, then uh, we know we should uh, push a new node. New no. That will be uh, okay. If the same, the first get is repeated times. That will be stack pick times. If the times plus one you plus one equal to k, we know we should pop that node stack pop. Otherwise, we just update this frequency. That will be stack peak times increment by one. So finally, we can generate our result. We will use a string builder. The reason is that we need to reverse because you know this is stack, so last in, first out. We can use for every node in their stack. Every node in the stack, um, we get its repeated times. That will be node dot times. So for i equal to zero, i less than times i plus plus s append this node dot char. Finally, let's be reverse to string. Okay. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.